think we're kind of, we, but most of the ones we can't really say on TV. <laughs> I think we were pushing the envelope with farty. And wee wee. Yeah, and wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, yes. I have okay. to follow that now? <laughs> yeah. We do. Yeah, right. we won't call you any of those names. No, so. thank no. you. Josh, we love That's you. That's nice. Yeah. We do. Okay. Uh, the rain is back. The rain is back, yes. and, it, you know, it's not planning on going anywhere anytime soon. Taking us all the way through the end of the week and eventually into the weekend, that's where we are talking about inches of rain for some of us as feet of snow once again return to the high terrain. So all good news on that front as the cloudy skies still remain as we take a live look across the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to our Hota and Go Kirkland Tower camera. 46 degrees. That's where we currently have stabilized at. Only expected to waver by a degree or two as we work our way through the rest of this evening. But you'll notice maybe a splash and dash hour. A very real possibility for the rest of this evening. As we approach the midnight hour though, that's when that rain potential really starts to ramp up once again. After our daytime highs managed to get back up into the low 50s for the I-5 corridor, 46. That's where we typically should be sitting for the Bridge City for the first week in January as we are seeing just a few of those hit and miss showers work their way through the Portland metro area. But if we look at the broader picture, you'll notice a little bit more of that rain out towards the coastline likely going to help to fill in the shore as it presses its way further to the east and then eventually transitioning from the rain over to the snow over the high terrain of the Cascades as we've already managed to pick up at nearly a quarter of an inch for the Portland area. A lot of these numbers continuing to climb as we move through the next several hours as about a quarter of an inch, three tenths of an inch found out along the coastline. Seeing above freezing though out towards the government camp area at 33. No surprise there that the roadways are just on the wet side. But as we lose that daylight, temperatures will start to slide backwards and slick conditions are a possibility up in elevation, which is a big deal for those skiers and snowboarders who might be coming down the mountain this evening as we've managed to pick up on several more inches over the past 24 hours, helping to stabilize our base layer, something we have not been able to say as of late. But the skiers and snowboarders still rejoicing over the next several days as snow does remain in the forecast. Great ski conditions, adding an additional three to six inches over the next several days, all above about 4,000 feet. As our snow elevation level does start to dip by the time we get into the weekend, that's when a bit of a cooling trend once again returns to our area. But seeing the white powder once again pile up to feet of snow, at least through the beginning of next week. Now, if you looked at your phone's weather app today, which I don't suggest you do frequently, you may have seen maybe a snow flurry starting to crop up. It's just far too soon to be able to tell if that will come to fruition. Our weather models really disagreeing and it will continue to change as it's already had a repeat history of that. And that's where we kind of hone in on our GFS, our European model, showing that maybe a wintery mix, maybe just rain, maybe nothing at all. The timing is still very flexible and we'll continue to keep a very close eye on that right here on coin six as the first round of wet weather finds its way back into our area, at least through the overnight hours. The snow falling over the high terrain of the Cascades, so mountain pass travel likely going to be on the tricky side over the next 24, 48 hours, really taking us into the weekend as we see a few dry spots over the next several days. But rain, that's going to be the forefront of the forecast as we near about a half inch over the next 48 hours. Tonight, falling back to about 42. Daytime highs back up into the upper 40s. A few hit and miss showers, a possibility. As our temperatures slowly start to sag back into the mid 40s by Sunday, that's where we could enjoy some snowfall from Portland. Looking off into the distance, some of the foothills as that snow elevation level drops to about 3,500 feet is a potential. So again, a lot of our weather models looking way past seven days, really inconsistent. So don't trust those weather apps. I know, but the don't minute you said don't look at your phone app, I was up here yeah, and I was like, wait, what is Don't look at your phones. Everyone's like, saying? where's that snow icon? <laughs> you know, <laughs> It's <laughs> gone right <laughs> now. But no, it, it was change. on mine. It's on mine. Uh -huh. It's back on. It okay. Don't so. trust it. Yeah, there you go. Right. There's and, other stuff on there too. Oh, well, we won't talk about that. Well, it's an American classic.